welcome back to another old ladies report. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm out here on the sun porch. It's Saturday evening. I'm by myself. Machine's taking a nap. I'm lighting me some incense. This is Jasmine. Mm. I've got a good friend in Memphis. Her name is Jasmine. Now, I used to use the nickname Yasmin, which is the Middle Eastern pronunciation for Jasmine. Yasmin with a Y. And I've actually used that name all the way back to the 80s. My second husband was Syrian, and when we were courting, he said I was his Yasmin. I said, what is that? He said, you're my desert flower. <laughs> it was romantic at the time. So when I started my first photography business, I used Jasmine as my professional name. And I had a business partner who was a Greek girl. Her name was Fatula. So we were Jasmine and Fatula. <laughs> Very exotic. <laughs> so today we had a really good day here in Mississippi. Uh, Miss Jean and I and Elena's grandmother, Jennifer, we took Elena to the pumpkin patch. It's a farm out in the country from Starksville, Mississippi. And they've got all kinds of stuff going on there. Uh, they can pet a, a calf, they can go and do all kinds of games geared towards, you know, being on a farm. And they've got one of these, one little ride that it's like a train, but each little, little seat that they get in is painted like a cow. So they just go all over. That's for the little ones. Now for the big ones, they have a hay ride that goes out through the hay fields and the pumpkin patches and all that. <coughs> I think it's incense is getting it too much. <coughs> so, oh yes, she just had a great time. So I'm gonna put some pictures up here so you can see what a fun time she had. We really, really enjoyed doing that with her. We got a good many good pictures, but. <coughs> She is um, a peony and high strung. So when she got finished with the picture taken, she said, no, 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 no more, no more. So when that happens, no more pictures, no matter what she's doing. And you'll see a couple of pictures with her when we're trying to get her to look up. Don't even smile, just look up. And she's sitting there like this. I'm finished and I'm not taking any more pictures. Two and a half now. Two and a half years old. <laughs> and this thing is doing that thing where it just goes like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's get, getting a reflection from my glasses and making it to do that. I don't know. I really don't know. And it's done that with three different ring lights. So it, it's not the ring light, it's something maybe to do with my glasses or something. Y'all tell me, did it start after I got my new glasses? That flashing that it starts doing? I'll have to go back and look at my videos and see if it started before my new glasses or after my new glasses. Something's causing it. I need to figure this out, y'all. <laughs> I don't have nobody to help me figure that kind of stuff out. Miss Jean and I are not computer savvy and it's phone savvy and all that kind of stuff. You have to remember, we were late in the bowl game. So we're lucky to be able to do what we can do. But 
that I don't know yet what Elena will actually be doing for Halloween. Um, I don't know if there's any parties around or anything. Of course, you know, she's too little to go trick-or-treating unless she goes just to family members. And, um, but I don't know if there's any kind of party party that she could go to. She had such a great time today because there were other kids her age that she could play with, little boys, little girls, and she loved that. She really loved it. You know, she, she does well with us old people, but a child needs to have children to play with. God knows they need children to play with. At 65, almost 66, she wears me out some days. Come on, die. Come on, come on, come on, die. And you can't hardly say no when she's gotten to that point where she likes to hold your hand, you know, and pull you up. It just breaks your heart, and so you get up and do whatever she's wanting you to do. <sighs> so, yeah, I hope we can find something else for her to do between now and Halloween so that she can wear her little costumes that we put together and, and be with other kids and play and all that fun stuff you do for Halloween. I always had a bunch of cousins that I hung out with, partied with. <laughs> Once in a while, I would be asked to come over to maybe one of my great aunt's house and give out candy. And I would love that because all these kids would be coming in there, you know. Mm -hmm. I would not have to be the one to say trick or treat because I hated saying trick or treat. Now, if I was going with people to doors and I had to go up there with that, I would be at the very last. So they would have already said trick or treat, and all I did was hold out my bag. That's what I did because I don't know. Even as a small child, I said, "Really, it sounds stupid to say trick or treat." <laughs> and when I would be forced to say it, you get some old folks just say, "Okay, you gonna get anything till you say it." trick or treat <laughs> and it just always rubbed in my craw I said I can't stand that and I guess that was a spoiled sport even as a kid I'm Capricorn Capricorns are old adult folks when they're little and they progressively get younger it's the reason I act like a silly kid now because I'm reversed aging I've stopped worrying about all those things that you worry about when you're young if you're gonna succeed in this and succeed in that, get to this age, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I've had a, a, a basically good life, I've had a happy life, I've had a fulfilled life. And I won't for nothing. So, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I can be, be as silly as I want to be. But I do love Halloween. I do love it. I wish I had a, a party to go to all dressed up. Uh, one of the ladies in our art group in Columbus, she used to have an annual Halloween party before Halloween. And it was always a knockdown, drag out, shindig, Costumes and everything. All kinds of food and beverage. She had a bartender. This would be during the day now. And she would have bartender. They was mixing drinks and everybody's getting during the day. That was a fun party. But when COVID struck, she stopped having her party and she hasn't started back. So. I have nowhere to go dressed up other than my video that I did. And I definitely wouldn't put that much makeup on again for anything. I would put on the costume, maybe the wig, and the hat. Maybe some black lipstick, but I am, that's it. <laughs> I might do that for trick or treaters that come over here. Because I always like to do that for the kids. Ever since I've been an adult, I've done it. 
I always done something, usually something spooky, a witch or a ghost or something. Zombie, I did zombie before. I like to do that kind of stuff to scare the kids. And for a good many years, I did a Halloween display. It looked like a haunted cemetery in my front yard. I had all kind of animated stuff, you know, hands moving like they were coming out of the grave. I've got all that stuff still in my attic. But it got where I was just too, getting too old and, you know, worn out to go up in that attic and haul it all out. And once I got it out, I loved it. Kids loved it. <laughs> it would scare the hell out of those kids coming up my sidewalk because everything would be on both sides of my sidewalk. And, and, and this one was a witch head in some kind of a ball and she would scream as the head moved around. And I'd fix it to where everything would be there. All you saw was the face coming like it was coming out of something. I love that kind of stuff. But I haven't went to that much trouble in a good many years. But who knows what the future might bring. I might decide to do that again. Since Elaine is getting bigger, you know, she will really enjoy that kind of stuff. So next year I may do her uh, some haunted yard somewhere. I got the stuff. It's doing nothing but being rat, rat food up in my attic. So I may do that next year. Yeah, that's a good thought. So I'm gonna put these pictures up and you'll see just how cute it was today. All right, bye-bye. Better, 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 better